Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here with another cool lesson for you. We are going to master tools like Flip, Nudge, and we're going to make ourselves an awesome dinosaur. So let's get cracking. Step one is going to be to create a new design. As with any design, I like to name it first. Simply click that box and I'm going to put my initials and I'm going to put a two because I've done this once or twice. Since we're working on basics, let's start by learning how to add a component. If we go to the dinosaur, we can bring out its head. When you drop it on the world, you'll notice that it is teeth up instead of teeth down. We're going to fix that by clicking the flip button and this is the up-down adjustment. If you click it once, it will flip our dinosaur head the right way. Let's bring out the jaw and drop it as well. And now let's use the Align tool. To use Align, you must grab both of them and then you must click the Align options and notice this is vertical and we don't need to adjust it at all we do want to center it on this edge and we want to center them this way. If we look at our view cube from a corner, notice I clicked right on the corner, he is looking pretty cool but we want to raise him up. So click on the head and once again from these corners, whichever one you pick, it's easier to see that cone we want to lift and just lift it up a little bit. If you want to zoom in closer, you can click the Fit view to selection and you can look at it from the back to see if you really like how it lined up. I'm going to decide that that is pretty good. I don't need perfect because I'm just making this guy for fun. But now I'm going to show you how to rotate it so that his mouth is open more. Once again, I'm going to go back to one of those corner views and find this rotation handle. If I stay close to the dinosaur head, notice it goes 22 and a half degrees on every click. If I move further away, I can do one degree at a time as I adjust his head. Let's look at it back from that side view. And notice now his little headpiece is below. So I'm going to click on it and use that cone to raise it up a little bit. And now I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it to the back. So if we just tap it a couple times, you can see right here, it fits pretty decent in that area. Once again, I don't need perfection, but it just lets us look at it as it's being built. This hole would be if we were designing an entire dinosaur. I am not going to have you do that project. I'm also going to let you know right now that you cannot stretch or adjust these pieces. They are locked as they are. I'm also going to tell you do not group them because it slows the computer down. So let's add something funny to our aligned dinosaur head. Let's go to the characters. Let's pick a belly and from the list I'm going to choose the egg. When you bring it out, let's use that align tool again. You can look at it from whatever side you want but you need to drag and touch all three shapes. You can tell you've got it aligned when it says that or you can tell you've got them selected when it says three shapes and then we simply want them to be aligned this way and then we don't want to mess with it the other direction because that'll change our head. Use your arrow keys to move the egg to where you think the little body would be and then we're going to use a magic tool. See how this is 61 high? We are going to hide the egg, grab the two pieces and we're going to lift them up to about 61 high by simply typing that number in the box. I'm having trouble with my backspace, but there we type 61 and press enter. It moves the head to the new height, and when we hit this light bulb, it brings back our egg. Let's take this head. I'm going to grab both pieces by just drawing a rectangle that touches them, and I'm going to lower it down. And I'm going to move it to the front as well just because it looks a little cooler. You have just practiced flip, nudge, and align. Let's continue these same tricks to make our little dinosaur even more awesome. 
I am going to quickly give him chicken feet. When you bring the chicken foot out, notice it is aimed this way for the work plane. That's actually pretty cool. We're going to stay with that. I'm going to put one chicken foot to the left, and then I'm going to use duplicate or control D to make the second chicken foot. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it where I want. I like that my head is facing the wrong way because this lets me practice that rotation tool again. This time I'm going to look at it from a top corner. Here's my rotation. And since I want to go 90 degrees, I'm going to stay close to the head with my mouse. If I move out, then I go one degree at a time, and it's a little harder to get to that 90 degree mark. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it out, because once again, the chin is not where I want. And let's take a look at our awesome duck dino and see if everything's where we think it should be. So far, so good. What other cool things can you add? Well, you can change the color. Why not give him a blue egg? Why not give him a beanie? You can give him a mustache. You can give him a painter's hat. You can use all of these techniques to align and arrange your awesome dino and explore the cool parts that are available to you. Now, if you want to add the hat, notice it's too large. You can hold shift and shrink the whole hat the same amount in every direction. And then you can use its cone to lift it up where it would go. There's that rotation so you can adjust it so it fits where you want. And here's a tricky one. To stay with the shape of his head, or to use the arrow keys to nudge it in the directions you want, click the work plane choice and set the work plane to the angle the hat was. Now watch this. When I do the arrow keys, it nudges in those directions, which is pretty darn sharp. I want that little hat to be a different color. I'm going to go with a silly purple. You can see there are amazing flippers, hands, mask. I want to add some cool arms. So I'm going to hit W and put my work plane back to the blue set blue normal work plane. And let's check out a new area called the featured. You could also do all or skeleton, but I'm going to take you to featured. When you go here, there are many cool pieces to play with. Uh, say you wanted a tail with a spring. Who knows what you could make with a soft box. Uh, you've got the rounded wind, snap socket. I am going to use the bent pipe for an arm. That bent pipe is quite large, so I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to shrink it down to a size that makes me happy. And then I can adjust it so that it aims the way I want. Once again, I'm going to nudge it to the place I like, using those arrow keys to get it perfect. And then... I'm going to look at it from one of these corners so I can see this lift handle and I'll put the arm up where it goes. I'm going to make sure it's connected. That does make it possible to possibly print this. And then also I'm going to slope it because if you ever print something on a 3D printer, you don't want to print in straight space uh, when you go out for these appendages. So I'm going to rotate it a little bit in both directions. Watch this one so it also tilts up. Now I could go back to that crazy hand that was in the characters, and I could actually attach it to my little dude. Let's see if we can line it up pretty good. There's my cone that we were practicing from those views. And now I'm going to use the nudge to bring it out where it would go. That has got a lot of potential. I want to rotate it so it looks like a peace sign, just because that's pretty cool. So friends, I've given you part of a project. Your job is to see just how epic and awesome you can make your cool little dino. While also remembering that you mastered flip, align, nudge, and the work plane, and found some cool places to look for stuff. Couple quick reminders, Tinkercad saves to the cloud, which is awesome, so that means you don't lose it when you shut down. And I hope you had a lot of fun with this project. If you did, make sure you share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We are at HLModTech. Also, if you had fun, make sure you click that like button. If you have a question or a comment, make sure you add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HLModTech, hit that notification. Bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.